Okay guys, 2021, I'm home, which I'm all bait only for a few days. But I thought I'd do an update to what I did to living in Thailand, cost of living in Thailand. Now, most people at the moment are looking for bargains. COVID is here, there's a lot on offer uh, and whatnot. But if you're looking for a condo or a house, prices obviously vary, but there is a lot on the market at the moment and there is a lot of choice. The best things to do is go to um, the websites around the area that you're looking for and you'll see the various people advertising their wares and their odds and sods on there. Now, the one I use is called I Love Bang Sare because I live in Bang Sare. Now, on that uh, channel, I've see, I'm seeing um, condos, one and two bedroom, going for around 12,000 baht at the moment, which is extremely cheap. Uh, and also, I'm seeing houses going for between, between around about the 12, 15, 20, 25,000, depending on what you want. You can get a three bedroom, two bedroom, or a two bedroom with a pool for around 15 to 20,000 at the moment uh, with a little, little pool. Going higher, if you go up in the 30,000 baht a month range, 35,000, you're going to get a three bedroom with a lovely pool, pretty much all what you need. So that's looking the same. Now, electric, electric's been a bit cheaper lately because of COVID. Um, because people are broke and because people don't have anything, our electric bill per month for our house, which is a five bedroom substantial home, is around 3,000 baht a month. But if you're in a condo or something like that, don't expect to pay any more than around 800 to 1,000 baht a month, which is great. Water's coming in around 300 baht a month for us. So for a condo, it's probably about 100 baht. Internet, I think we're paying 2,500 baht a month at the moment for 3BB, which is a good service and it's uh, the highest, fastest one you can get at the moment uh, and it works quite well. Now, car hire. Car hire can be deceiving and deceptive, also ask can motorbike hire. But again, ask for a discount, guys. Don't just accept what they want. Cars, between five and 12,000 baht uh, a month. Motorbikes, up to about 2,500, 3,000 baht a month. But definitely ask for discounts. There's a lot of bikes out there at the moment because there's no customers. You know, so people are willing to do a deal, I'm sure they are, just to get the bikes out, just to get some revenue coming in. Meals. Now, eating out is uh, up to you. There's places like Cafe de Ami in uh, Patia, which is extremely expensive, but extremely good quality. Where you wouldn't expect to come away with around 5,000 baht bill. Uh, maybe more with wine, but locally again, I go to I Love Bank Saray, and I'm looking at ones now on my on my on my uh, computer, and a meal is around 170 baht, 150 to 250 baht, depending on the quality and quantity and where you go and what kind of thing you're expecting. There's a lot of new bars opening up down past uh, Bank Saray, especially on the beach. The beach is becoming very popular again, and uh, there's a lot of new bars, a lot of new cafes, a lot of new restaurants opening up down there. And it's also getting quite cosmopolitan because we've got people here from all over the world and uh, it's quite a good place to live again uh, even though covid is here you're still going to bump into people from several nationalities on your day out so going back again to bills guys uh, what other bills do we have um oh yeah obviously car car expenses and so on we've got a truck a pickup truck which we own ourselves and fuel costs around about 1,200 to 1,300 baht to fill the truck up, which is extremely cheap compared to Europe, especially compared to the UK. Car insurance, I think we pay around 13,000 baht a year for two for, for the car, around that area. I'm guessing, because I don't actually know if my wife pays that one. Swimming pool cleaning, 2,000 baht a month. Gardener, 700 baht a week. Great value. Uh, do, trust me, try doing the garden in this heat, it's, not, it's no fun. Um, we've just had our house painted. I think it costs 15,000 baht to get the whole house painted. Excellent price, excellent job. As I say, it's a big house. Uh, so, you know, we, we, I was very happy with that price uh, in total. So there you go, guys. A quick, quick, quick update on living in Thailand uh, during uh, COVID in 2021. Um, back to work next week, but there you go, say la vie. You've got to pay the bills.